my hair is such a mess and I have to be to class in 20 minutes and I need to look halfway decent. It's okay, we can fix it. I bought a straightening iron yesterday and I've been dying to try it out. Let's give it a shot. <sighs> Thanks, Bobby. No problem. No problem. So, did you know that this month is Women's History Month? Oh yeah, really? Oh look, could you hurry up? Because I was supposed to be on the bus to College Avenue 10 minutes ago. Okay, sure. But don't you want to know anything about women in science and medicine? It's all I've been learning about in my women's studies class. Yeah, sure, why not? Okay, so first there was Elizabeth Blackwell, who was the first female doctor. She ran a clinic out of her own house seeing women and children privately. She was also responsible for the first women's medical college and pioneered in preventative medicine and promotion of antisepsis and hygiene. She was also the first chair of hygiene at any medical college ever. <laughs> really? Because my aunt told me she was the first one to do that. <laughs> Be serious, Ladina. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm not totally oblivious, you know. Actually, I learned that a very important woman made it possible for me to skip ironing on days like this. No, oh, you would know that. Of course. Ruth Benarito invented wash and wear cotton fabric. It was chemically treated to make it flame and stain resistant. And for my benefit, it reduced wrinkles. That's really interesting. I had no idea. Yep. And I also learned a little bit about Marie Curie. She was the first woman to receive a Nobel laureate for her research in radioactivity. Wow, that's so cool. I didn't know you knew anything about her. Well, looks like I'm done with your hair. Thanks, Pavi. It looks great. Don't thank me. Thank Madame C.J. Walker. She was the inventor of the hot straightening iron and a result of a lot of important discoveries in hair care, she became the first black woman millionaire. Wow, I can't believe I didn't know that. And I also can't believe I actually took this month for granted. Yeah, women have made a lot of groundbreaking achievements. That's why we're going to devote an entire month to appreciate all the important discoveries they've made for us, from little things like hair straighteners to critical advances in science and medicine. You couldn't be more right. Well, I've actually got to go to class now. Thanks, Pavi, and happy Women's History Month. This was just one example of the type of women we celebrate each March during Women's History Month. Each of these women demonstrates the strength and perseverance that we can all be proud of and that will continue to inspire future generations for years to come.